Hello everybody, JLukey here. Today I'm going to be making a very different video to what I uh, usually make. Um, this is in regards to a semi-recent sale, a uh, sale of about two months ago, uh, for this. As you guys can see, if you aren't surprised or shocked already, like I was when I found this out, first edition Pokemon cards PSA 10, 10 Gem Mint Holo, Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur for 19,995 USD. Now, to the uh, Pokemon card collector, uh, this would seem like a steal compared to a, you know, a um, po uh, person that doesn't collect Pokemon cards. This would seem like a lot of money, an outrageous amount of money for a piece of cardboard. But in reality, this is so, 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 so underplayed as far as value goes. Uh, let's go in a little bit deeper, but before we do that, let me just show you that PSA 10 Gem Mint Charizard um, first edition goes for 375,000 USD. Um, Venusaur goes for about 20,000 USD, and the Blastoise goes for around 22,000 USD. All up, a little over 400, a bit over $400,000. Um, about 410-ish. And it was sold, all three, in Gem Mint 10 for $19,995. This has come up on the price chartering website um, as a as a legitimate sale that went through for three cards, but it's um, just in the Charizard first edition page. It's uh, thrown off the um, what a PSA ten example would be like because the last three were more um, legitimate uh, cards. <laughs> Or at least I think so. So let's so let's get uh so let's get to uh, looking at this um at this entire thing. Seller, a hundred percent positive feedback. Only hundred and fifty five uh reviews. One bid. So the auction started at nineteen thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars and it ended at nineteen thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars. Uh, I'm not just not going to click on that just to, so I can uh, partially save the um, buyer's information and not uh, show you guys. You can look at that yourself if you want. This is all uh, free to look at. No returns accepted. So let's look at these. So first of all, why are they all on their sides? And why do they not show the entire slab? And why is there light in the bottom right-hand corner? That could be the Flash, uh, not the not the DC superhero. Um, that could be the Flash of the camera. And um, let, let's let's just look at these. So you know you got the first edition stamp, PSA 10 Charizard. I've actually got the cert number right here. This is the exact same. Uh, uh, allegedly, the exact same Charizard um, that I've searched up. It looks pretty legit as far as the uh, the cert number goes. Obviously, if um, you know you do have a cert number um, and it works on one of these cards, that isn't a one hundred percent verification that this is the actual card or a legitimate card. This card could have just been tampered with or taken out. This could have been replaced all of that type of stuff, but it is a good indicator that things are things are good. Um, that you're uh, looking at a uh, higher possibility of a uh, of a card that's legitimate. But when this is a $375,000 and it got sold for under 20 because you have to factor in all the other cards which are also over $20,000 each, things kind of get fishy. Things kind of get odd. Now, you could just say this was a uh, one in a billion for this uh, buyer to f uh, get it and for it 
not to go up. I mean, I saw the auction when it was still um when it was still uh, on. I added it to my watch list and I uh, watched it go not up in price. <laughs> That's for sure. It stayed, which I mean, who would want to touch this uh, auction? This is just all over the place. You know, they can't even keep the cards left um on the left side or the right side. It's just Charizard's on the Charizard's leaning to the left and the Blastoise and Venus are on the right, like just unprofessional all around by the seller, which just adds to the suspect nature. The fact that they don't show the back uh increases, you know, the this this um everybody's suspicion. Um but th these aren't these aren't cards at least I can see from the front, maybe except for the first edition stamp, that look extremely fake. They look pretty, pretty well done. Um, I'm not saying they are, but there is a massive chance that they are. Um, if that makes any sense. So, um, I'm also, this is all alleged. This is all my opinion. This is obviously, can't be stated as being 100% true. Um, we don't know the sides of the story. I haven't gotten in contact with the seller. Um, I've just, this has just got me caught off guard so much. Um, cause if these were real, this guy has made one of the biggest fines ever and probably one of the biggest purchases ever. If this is fake, well, this guy's kind of just lost $20,000 on a bunch of dud Pokemon cards, but... If they are fake, this guy could buy them and then go on to sell them to possibly other oblivious buyers, um, oblivious rookie buyers that have this money, that they've got money to use, and he might sell it for way more than $90,000. Um, so, go moving on, this is the Venusaur. 28,000, Gem Min 10, this is the same cert number. Let me just show you. Same cert number. Blurry photos, by the way. Same cert number. This is when it gets a little bit interesting, though. So I'm getting off here. I'm looking at this Blastoise, you know. I'll uh, just go into this photo. And I look up its cert name. Obviously, all these are car, uh, all these um slabs are really, really quite, uh, quite damaged. Either weird stains on them or scratches. I don't know. I don't want to know. Actually, I do want to know. Um, but this is when it gets really, really odd. So I search up the cert number for this Blastoise. And everything looks good until... Shadowless. What? Shadowless? I thought... I thought the ma the majority of, like, all, uh, base set first edition cards are shadowless. Except for the, uh, Machamp in the deck box. I, I thought, I thought Machamp was only like one of a kind as it was the only shadowed Pokemon that was also first edition, which made no sense. Why would this be classified as something it obviously is instead of putting something like first edition? Cause there can be shadowless base set cards, but there can also be shadowless first edition cards. But if it was first edition, first edition would be put on here. Now that's the first Really, really odd thing that this is classified as shadowless. It's going by base set shadowless prices and not base set first edition prices for Gem Mint. So that's the first really odd thing. Um, also has no auction prices for it, unlike the Venusaur card, which was sold last year, and the Charizard card, which was sold five years ago. So going to get a closer look at these cards. Obviously, looking at this Charizard one first. You can just see, this is just... I do not I do not know what this is. This this case looks like it's been beaten up, you know, chewed, thrown in a blender. I don't know, scratches all over it. This, I, I don't know. It looks, it looks odd. It looks weird. I know, I know with these things, you've got to be either 100% sure... Or you can't be sure, but it's just uh, as as unprofessional and as as, a, as odd as it sounds. It's it it feels like it's a gut feeling that this something's weird with this card. Something's odd. 
Um, especially when you factor in all the other stuff, the fact that it got sold for this much, the fact that the seller hasn't taken a photo of the back, the fact that, you know, their description is like one sentence, less than one sentence, this feels like, yeah, it's just, just the title, they don't go into detail about it, it's like they are just, um, they just didn't care, almost, um, so back to the photos, so yeah, there's a Charizard one, also, in all these photos, you can't get a full photo of the slab, they have either little corners of it cut out off camera, um, which is odd, again, same thing with this Venusaur. This is also been cut out. It just, this looks odd up here. I don't know what it is. It just looks odd. First edition, I, I don't know. I'm not good with the first edition stamps to tell if they're f real or fake. You guys can decide. I'll put the link to the, um, the eBay sale in the description. But, this is when it gets really, really damning. And starts raising some eyebrows if eyebrows haven't been raised already about this which should have been raised a very long time ago i'll give you five seconds what do you guys think um is wrong with this card or this slab i should say if you guys haven't realized it already this if you still don't know what i'm talking about the um this has obviously been opened or it's been damaged so much that the um that the little the grading piece uh the piece of cardboard or the piece of paper that tells you all the information is falling out of the case slightly or not slightly uh, noticeably to the right it looks like there's a crack along the the slab pos that looks like a crack that goes along it it looks like this is uh is bent has been bent open. Um, it looks like someone's opened this and replaced the card, replaced this, put it in a fake one, opened it up, resealed it. This is, this is very damning evidence. Um, probably the most, some of the most damning um, is the fact that this slab, in my opinion, has been tampered with. Definitely. Um, it just, it looks odd. Uh, I don't know if those, co the colors on the hollow foil, I don't, I only own one base set first edition hollow card, uh, PSA graded, but it is the Machamp um, uh, from the deck box, so I don't really have much experience with these really older cards, but it just doesn't look right. Um, but the other cards look, you know, good. They look, they look pretty good. Um, so uh, let's 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 look at the uh, let's look at all this again. So this guy's one hundred percent positive feedback. The fact of the matter is, either which is probably a hundred, like ninety nine point nine percent more realistic. This guy who bought it for nineteen thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars has been scammed. Um, he's been, he's been duked, he's been being boozled, being boozled, um, the, the sad thing about this is, they probably think it's real, and what's more concerning is, that they may go on to sell this, and this seller may go on to sell other stuff that may be fake, this is all may, all alleged, you know, obviously, this is, this is just my, my theory, my, my opinion, but this just, this, all this just looks so unprofessional. But if this is real, this guy would be saving close to $400,000 um, in, in, in profits this, or in, in money. This guy would make a $400,000 profit, poss probably, um, if these all these cards were real, which is just so 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 weird to think about but i just wanted to um tell you this because either or you know massive scam massive scam like this isn't this isn't a um this isn't just a you know 
someone selling a uh, or trading a, a uh, fake Pokemon card for $2 in the uh, Walmart parking lot. These are some of the most iconic Pokemon cards that look to be in pretty real condition um, to someone that's not really that experienced at Pokemon. In the cases, that is, um, selling for tens of thousands and could be sold for hundreds of thousands. Um, obviously, this was a... Um, what makes it more odd is the fact that this one bid was a um, best offer. So he best offered at $90,000. I don't know in what world, unless the seller is... Um, is like just I, I don't know <laughs> if the seller is really desperate for money, but a best offer for ninety thousand dollars for cards that could go for f up to four hundred grand uh, that just doesn't seem right. Um, so yeah, either this is probably the biggest scam I would feel like one of the biggest scams of Pokemon cards this year, or this is one of the biggest Pokemon, like, investment wins of all time, um, which, you know, I'm hoping that it is, but I, I know it's probably not the case, but, uh, yeah, just wanted to make you guys aware, I don't know why this isn't be talk um, being talked about, because it's in the database for price, price chartering, um, and I mean, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, um, I hope you guys liked this little, uh, this little video, or this big video, and yeah, thank you guys for watching, and Jay Lukey, out.